Hey, it's Jeff 650 Cycle, and I want to introduce you to my next two-year winter project. Um, I will explain why it's a two-year winter project in a moment. Let me show you what I got happening here. This is a 1998 Honda GL 1500 Goldwing Aspen Cade. Yes, it has all of the names on it. And uh, I got it as a parts buy because it was laid down on this side, and it actually has a salvage title. So um, there's still a lot of good parts on this and so that's why i'm going that route and because it has a salvage title it's like i don't think it's worth fixing so um, let me explain the whole two-year winter project to you in 2020 i had a kawasaki ltd 440 actually two of them i took two and made one clean painted polished and it turned out to be a really nice bike it took me a year after i got it done to put tires on it so that's why it was a two-year project in that time that i started on that I started working on the uh, XS Cafe, the 1980 Yamaha XS 400, and decided to do a build and see if I could do that. And again, that one took me two years to build. Um, actually, it took about a year to put the front brake on it. And uh, so it was done before then, but it takes me two years to get all the way done on things, I guess. And uh, I've sold both of those, and they both sold for like between 16, 1700 bucks, which isn't too bad uh, not bad for a, a two-year project in my opinion and that's what this is going to be this is my new two-year project and i've been focusing on getting uh, some storage shelves and things like that uh, photo booths to um, for my ebay store focusing more on selling parts as opposed to fixing bikes and so that's what this project is is in two years i want to have made that uh, 16 1700 dollars that I did on those other two bikes um, I'll have it torn down way before then and we'll see where I'm at at that two-year point I've started listing parts I haven't sold anything yet uh, but I have to make that first $500 back to pay for it because the other ones were paid for as well in the same way selling parts and so this has to pay for itself and then I can make that uh, 1700 bucks maybe um, I honestly don't think I'm gonna make that much but I don't know the market for this bike. I've never had a GL15, and I, I just don't know what the market is, if, if they're desirable parts, if they sell. Um, I've looked up some comps on eBay, and I think I'm going to do okay. The one thing I did notice is that the parts that, that are available are a little bit more um, price-wise than what I'm used to on the GL1100s. So I think I'll at least make my money back, probably double it, which is what I'm hoping to do. And in two years' time, who knows, I might be at that $1,600, $1,700 point. It would be nice. Um, I like taking these things apart. I had so much fun. I, re I was thinking back to the first GL1200 or 1100 I tore apart. And it was just fun to take it apart and see how the Honda engineers had put it together and how, much, how, how different that bike was from any other bike at that time, anything I'd ever seen. Um, it was just interesting. And I have a feeling this is going to be the same way. Uh, as I'm taking it apart, I'm going to be thinking, this is really interesting. And I know I'm going to be thinking, why did they do it that way? Uh, because that's the way it happens. Um, so, just a quick update on my new project. And um, that's all I got for today. So, um, give me a subscribe. I'm almost to 500 su subscriptions. And uh, that's a milestone in the YouTube world. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're out riding, ride safe.